Hey, what's up? This is Bo Allen, the Butter King. Seven-year NFL vet. Today on Butter Breakdowns, we are going to talk about Justin Matabike. So I recorded a lot of this Butter Breakdown uh, earlier this week, and it actually just came to light. At the Baltimore Ravens decided to put the franchise, ta franchise tag on Justin Matabike with a number at $22.1 million. The man got paid, uh, which is not surprising to me because at 6'3 and 305 pounds, he is an incredibly explosive and twitchy player that had a lot of really good production in 2023. So his 2023 campaign ended with a Pro Bowl and a second-team All-Pro nod. He led all interior defensive linemen with 14 and a half sacks in 2023. That's incredible. Um, really, really good production from him as a pass rusher. He finished third among interior defensive line with a, with – 86 total pressures. Chris Jones was first with 97. He's another free agent. Um, but, you know, my sources are telling me that Chris Jones is likely to sign back with the Chiefs and go for that three-peat. Aaron Donald was second amongst all interior defensive linemen with 91 total pressures. He's a freak. He's really fun to watch him play. But um, also, uh, Matt Abike is a very complete player, and I'll show you that more in some of these clips that are coming up. Uh, Justin Madubike was tied 10th among all interior defensive tackles with 37 tackles and 12 TFLs. So, listen, just to be honest with you guys, we all know that pass rushing is what gets you paid as a defensive lineman, and that's why the Ravens are willing to put a franchise tag of $22.1 million on Madubike. Uh, but he's a very, very complete player and a really good run defender as well. He's got really long arms and plays with a great strike and good extension in the run game. We'll check that out on tape in a little bit. And then pass rush, he's super twitchy and can line up at a variety of different positions across the defensive front. Uh, five technique, four technique, three technique as well in odd packages. So uh, just a quick little overview on how he was using Mike McDonald's scheme in 2023 with the Ravens. Now McDonald is now the head coach of the Seattle Seahawks. But um, I think Mike McDonald is more of a situational blitzer. I think he blitzed 28% of the time or something along those lines. Um, but, uh, you know, the defensive scheme for the Ravens in 2023 is a lot of odd front and base where Matabike was playing 4-I and 5 technique. And then in their nickel packages, Matabike was more of a 3 technique with big Michael Pierce playing that nose guard role. So really fun player to watch, incredibly productive player. And uh, I just really like his fundamentals, how hard he plays, a lot of really good qualities to his game. Let's check it out on tape. Butter King loves the draw tool. Here he is, number 92. Really, really good player. I want to talk about this play because it was one of my favorite sacks from 2023. Like I said, Matt BK had 14 and a half sacks, elite production for a defensive tackle. Um, but this is a first and 10 sack, okay? This is week one against the Texans. Here he is. Like I said, he plays a lot of three technique when they're in nickel. The Ravens are in nickel here. Um, this is awesome. I'm just going to play this. Watch this guy move. So it's first and 10, quarterback under center. He's playing the run game initially. So that's what he's doing here. Recognizes boot, pulls out, and hawks the quarterback down all the way between, like, on the numbers. That is incredible. So the thing I love about this, too, when you see a lot of D tackles get sacks, what they'll end up doing is backdooring this tackle here and getting the sack, like, you know, let me try to see if I can pull this up backdooring it and getting the sack like right here when the quarterback turns his eyes around. That's not a very sound way to play a uh, boot because the, the boot is a play action pass that initially looks like an outside zone run this way. So like dudes will guess on this stuff, backdoor it, and it'll end up being a run and it'll cut back and rip in their gap. What I love about this sack, Matabike plays it honestly. Like he's playing true technique up until here when he recognizes that the ball wasn't handed off, and that's when he pulls out of it and goes, he's looking like a linebacker here, hawking this dude down. It's incredible. And Stroud is an athletic quarterback too. I uh, also want to give a shout-out to big number 99 here. Watch him on this play. He kind of allows Matt BK to get this sack. He strips that wide receiver right here. Not a great outlet for the quarterback. Matt BK hawks him down. That's an unbelievable play. All right, moving on. So like I mentioned in the previous clip, in nickel fronts, Matabike plays a lot of three technique in their odd fronts. So this is an odd front. You have a zero nose, big Mike Pierce. Uh, he plays a lot of four eye, 
which is what he is on this side, or five technique, uh, which is what's happening to the close side here where the tight end is. But um, the thing I love about Matt Abike is he's a really comp complete player. Just watch him on this play, big number 92. So he's on the inside half of the tackle here, and that's a four eye. That's what that's called, four eye technique. And so he is keying the inside. This is man on key. He is keying somewhere right around here, okay? Um, this is first and 10. The Colts are in pistol, which is a big, big um, run indicator. And what I like about this, this is a really good play. What I like about this is, so the tackles is man on key. Just watch initially. As soon as the ball is snapped, he feels the tackle go out to block this end, and he instantly gets his eyes back to the guard because that's his new man on key. Tackle's not coming to block him, right? The guard's coming out to block him. Watch, watch how fast he gets his hand, his hat, his strike, his focus on the guard. And look at this extension. Like, this is, a, this is like, it doesn't look like much, but this is just great D-line technique. I love it. He uses those long arms to keep this alignment off of him and just gets right off and makes a really nice tackle. Like, he makes this rep look so easy, and I promise you, it is not. I've played four technique before. It's not easy. It's really pure rep, and he, he's a really good defender. He can do it all. He can run. He can pass. Uh, we'll move on to uh, week five, second and five here against the Steelers. Again, he's a three technique lined up on Isaac Samalo here. Um, they're in, the Steelers are in gun near, which means the running back and the tight end are to the same side. So that, you know, when you get that as a defensive lineman, here's Matt BK, you know that there's probably going to be some sort of run at you. I've talked about that a lot before in Butter Breakdowns. Um, like in the previous clip, like he's just a really good run defender as well. He uses his hands really, really well. And so he's a three technique. Just look at his strike here going into um, Isaac. He does a really good job getting his hands on him. And then this center, Lindenbaum, is coming out to bump him out of this gap before climbing to the second level. Matabike has got his feet in the ground, really good contact balance. He just absorbs that. And then the moment the center leaves, you know that the ball is coming. Watch how fast he's able to bring this arm over, get off of the guard, go in and make a tackle. That's a really nice play. I'm just going to roll that through here because I was kind of talking a lot. Just watch 92 here. Really, really good technique, really good feel. It doesn't look like much, but that's a really nice tackle. All right, I love this. So, like I said, uh, Justin Matabike is really good at rushing the passer. Here he is, number 92. Uh, it's third and two here against the Tennessee Titans. Ravens have some sort of third down blitz on. I'm not going to overanalyze that. All I want to say here is, like, this dude is a wide, wide five technique. He's, he's, got, his in, he's got his ears pinned back uh, to rush the passer. Usually he rushes more out of a three technique, but he's comfortable out on the edge, too, and he's a good enough athlete. That he can do that. So watch him get off. Little fake bull just powers the tackle right back into Tannehill for a sack. I just I love this clip. Like I like this little gallop he does. Watch this. This is awesome. Yeet right there. <laughs> All he's trying to do with this, uh, you know, he's trying to get the O lineman to punch. He's trying to get Dillard to punch here with this fake little thing. But he's he's this is a big fella, right? He's six three, three oh five. He's a really athletic player. We saw that on that boot sack he had earlier. He's got a full head of steam, just powers him right back in a tantalum for the sack. That's great. All right, next clip. Matt Abike, he's a three technique. I'm going to roll this clip through, and then I'll tell you what I like about it. So he is um, going to be the penetrator in a Tom game. So Tom game just means that the three technique goes first, two-man game, and then the nose guard loops around. It's a staple of four-man pass rush games. Watch this clip. I'll tell you what I like about it. Really nice sack on Goff. Really good job splitting that. Gets the ball out, too, which is great. So just running that back really quick. Whenever you're the penetrator um, in a, you know, a TT game or a Tom game, you need to, first of all, you need to do a really good job getting vertical. But you need to beat this inside hand of the offensive guard. And then you need to try to get to the hip of the center uh, without getting pushed off and still getting vertical. And so he does a really good job with that. It's just small things. First of all, I like his big first step, really nice get off. But then he brings that big left arm rip in, and you can see his eyes here going right to the center because he needs to beat this arm of the center. And one thing I love from Mike Pierce here, this is a vet move. Watch, look at this outside grab with his hands. I'm going to remove the draw tool. Okay, you see? Mike Pierce grabs that uh, 
outside grabs the center Rag, Ragnall's arm, so he can't wheel back and help on Matabike. And Matabike does a really good job. Just keep running his feet. He kind of ricochets, pins the hip, flips his hips back around, gets his eyes and focus on Goff, uh, and gets vertical. Really, really good job game. But, uh, really good job running that game by those two guys. It was a really nice sack. Next clip. All right, this, this is maybe my second favorite sack of his. Here he is right here. He's the three technique. Watch how agile this fucker is. It's incredible. Watch this. Watch this. Spin move. Got him. I love that. That's such a nice sack. Like, okay, I'll be honest with you guys. This is not a sack that your boy would be able to make. And so I was watching this for a while, trying to figure out if this was a counter or if he'd planned this rush in his stance. But it's a really good job of him. So, like, he runs this a little differently than what I would do. He's doing a double hand swipe, which you can see here. He's attacking this. This is why I think he maybe had it pre-planned and it wasn't a counter. Um, like, I watched this game, and I think this – uh, this guard kind of knew what he was dealing with in Matabike, so he was jump-setting him a little bit, and he's a two-hand high puncher, right? So what 92 does, he does this double-arm swipe, which is great because it knocks the outside hand of the guard down, but then he spins, does a... Look at He's like a dancing bear, man. Look at this shit. It's really nice. Watch how fast he's able to get his head back around. He's not spinning on the wrong foot, gets his head back around, but this is what I really love, this ice pick, bringing this arm... This right arm straight and flipping your head back to the quarterback with violence. What the ice pick does right here, this tack or this guard still has his right arm available. And if he doesn't ice pick it there, like the guard can probably get it back in and recover. But that ice pick's a really good job. And then at the top of the rush, right here, really good job pointing his toes. You see? Pointing this, pointing his toes back at the quarterback. Um, which allows him to close that space, get on top of him, and then just gator rolls him. Really, really nice sack from him. And then here's a, here's a final clip I threw in here just to show. This is third and 14 against the Seahawks, okay? This dude has 14 and a half sacks. He's probably stoked on third and 14 to pin his ears back and get after, um, get after Gino here. But a lot of teams do this on third and extra long. Ends up being a screen, okay? And look, he puts his foot in the ground, hawks this guy down, he plays with unbelievable effort. That's all I'm trying to say here. Like, this guy is not, you know, a diva. He plays hard. It shows up on tape. He does a lot of little things right. Plays with really good technique. And I love that. So, hell of a season 2023, Justin. Thanks for tuning in for another Butter Breakdown. I'm going to do some more free agent defensive linemen, uh, some college players. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what, uh, what we can all watch together.